today we will read chapter number 9 the jiron and the participle student what is mean by jiron a jiron is a ing form of our verb when it is used as a noun it is derived to form a verb jiron means ing form of the verb when it is used as a noun it is derived from the verb it is used in the following cases first one is subject to a verb it is used as a subject to a verb like swimming improves your health subject smoking causes cancer reading makes us wise dancing gives us strength it smoking swimming reading dancing uh, these are the jiran and these are used as a subject to a verb it follows improves causes makes gives now object to a verb i dislike smoking it is used here as a object to a verb like dislike i love swimming swimming jiran and a verb love you must stop laughing she enjoys swimming so here jiran is used as a object to the verb object to a preposition he is fond of playing of playing object to a preposition of is a preposition i have no idea of going there of going there of is a preposition she was fine for coming late for coming late for preposition i am interested in learning in learning in preposition complement to the verb to be his only aim was winning it is a complement of the verb be was it is a complement of the word was winning his constant habit was sleeping it is a complement to the verb was sleeping my favorite hobby is gardening what she loves is painting so here it uh, the jiran is used as a complement to the verb the root form of the verb that is the first form of the verb is called infinitive it is not limited to the number or the person of the subject root form of the verb is called infinitive the root form of the verb that is the first form without to is called bear infinitive for example i made her sing it is the bear infinitive because there is no to before the root form before the first form the root form of the verb first form it means the first form of the verb preceded by to is called to infinitive like he wants to grow to grow the following verbs can take a to infinitive as well as the region like hate learn like love remember start advise allow attempt begin continue intend propose regret these are the verbs which follows a to infinitive and a jiran as well see how we intend to live in delhi here to live where in infinitive is used to infinitive we intend living in delhi here jiran is used living i propose to leave the soon i propose leaving soon she loves to hear old song she loves hearing old songs i remember to see him i remember seeing him he prefers to travel by train he prefers traveling by train so the verbs um, these the following verbs can take a to infinitive as well as a gerund the following verbs of perception can take a pair infinitive or a gerund see watch feel feel hear notice observe the students these verbs follow a bear infinitive and gerund i heard her come in i heard her coming in here to is not used it is a bear infinitive she saw me cross the road she saw me crossing the road the teacher watched me shout in the class the teacher watched me shout, watched me shouting in the class i noticed him sit with her i noticed him sitting with her so the these uh, uh, verbs follow uh, can take a bear infinitive as well as a gerund the following verb must be used with the gerund only it is wrong to use with the infinitive after them okay the the verbs follow the verb are used with the gerund only it will be wrong to use infinitive after them avoid delay deny it's like bread enjoy excuse finish forget imagine keep which means continue mind which means take ill pardon postpone prevent recollect risk stop suggest try test understand okay these words are used with gerund only it's wrong to use with infinitive after them jiran is used with the following expression as well like be word be no use 
बी नो गुड आई कॉन्ट बेयर कॉन्ट स्टैंड कॉन्ट हेल्प सी हाउ लुक एट द सेंटेंसेज इट इज दिस टेबल इज वर्थ बॉइंग इट इज नो यूज ट्राइंग ओवर स्प्लिट मिल्क इट इज नो गुड इमिटेटिंग अदर शी कॉन्ट बेयर लिविंग अवे फ्राम हर चिल्ड्रन आई कॉन्ट स्टैंड स्मोकिंग इन माई रूम वी कूडन हैव लाफिंग एट द क्लॉन ओके सो वर्थ नो यूज नो गुड कॉन्ट बेयर कॉन्ट स्टैंड कूडन हेल्प दीज फ्रेजेज कैन बी यूज विद द जी रंस इफ अ नाउन और प्रोनाउन इज यूज बिफोर द जी रन इट मस्ट बी इन द पॉजिटिव केस ओके स्टूडेंट्स इफ वी यूज नाउन और प्रोनाउन बिफोर एनी जी रन इट इज मस्ट बी इन द पॉजिटिव केस लाइक आई डिसक रोहनस कमिंग ले डेली इट इज अ पॉजिटिव केस रोहनस अ मैंस फ्यूचर डिपेंड ऑन हिज वर्किंग हार मैंस आई इंजॉय हर कुकिंग फॉर मी Do you mind my smoking here? So, if we use a noun or pronoun, it must be in the possessive case. Now, come participle. Students, what is mean by participle? A participle is a form of a verb which has the characteristic of a verb as well as an adjective. Participle means a verb. It is a form of a verb which actually has a characteristic of a verb as well as an adjective. Participle are of three kinds. present participle past participle and perfect participle present participle is used verb first form of verb plus ing like drawing past is used with the third form of verb drawn and perfect is having plus verb third form having drawn seeing seen having seen finishing finished having finished students present participle is used if the participle and principal verb occurs at the same time we use present participle it means ing form of verb a drowning man catches a straw they went laughing out into the snow taking a walking stick the old man came out of the hut seeing the police the burglar ran away they went into the bathroom singing okay so if the participle and principal clause occur at the same time we use present form of the participle we use past form perfect form of the participle when uh, the participle occur prior to the principal verb like having bought a book i came back from the market having done my homework i went out to play having attended a meeting of the club my mr ram came back having won a prize arman felt happy so when participle occur prior to the principal verb we use perfect form of the participle that is the having plus third form of verb past participle is used when the verb is functioning as an adjective when verb is functioning as an adjective we use part part past participle like namya's spoken english is much better than yours these salt papers are very helpful rahul boarded a crowded bus she saw a padded rose okay so students when the verb is doing the function of a noun is called gerund when verb functions as an adjective is called participle 